Hi and welcome back to the Craig's World. My name's Craig. Welcome to It Is My Madness. Today I'm doing part two of this side of the engine. I've already done it, but you'll see it in a minute. I've done the videos wrong. And I'm basically painting. When I'm doing the engine, <coughs> I've decided as how I'm doing it with all the red new paint and everything that's going on, all the little parts. There's no point having a dirty engine. So that's why I've been cleaning the engine. So You'll see it now, but you'll see the procedure. I've actually now painted the block. Obviously, I'm going to do round the side and round the other side when we get there, but now I'm going to put all the bits that I've done over the past couple of days on. It's just a very high intense, if, um, like a ceramic paint for the block. You can use, as long as it's high uh, temperature, you'll be okay. Remember that. So, we'll get back into this. We'll start putting parts on. Okay, so one of the first parts that we're going to put back on, it's been on and off and on and off and off. On and off and on and off, I should say. Um, putting back the starter motor. Now, because I've painted all around there, this can go back in. And you've just got to remember which way around these bolts go. So if you remember, it's going to go to this. Now I'm pretty sure there's a bracket that goes on that which I've got in there so I'll, I will, I'll be undoing a couple of these bolts as we go. Um, <clears throat> so that's another one that I've got to clean but we can put the bolt in. So there's one in. Right. If you remember when we took the brackets off the back of the alternator and I'll show you how gank it is. That's it now. All been dipped in the in the white vinegar, shot blasted, buff with a wheel, and then um acid etch primed to build up of that, then the colour, then a very hard enough for the the top and if you remember it went into this part here at the back so we can we can actually undo that now
Yep. And if you remember that, it just gets pushed in there, and then that gets pushed up into that. Oh. So there's one. Now, I'm pretty sure we have to do this section next. And if you remember rightly, that goes If you remember, because that's got to go onto that. So if you remember, there's the engine mount, which is in, which I painted that black. This has been done. And there was, the big bolt went to the bottom. So it goes in. Remember which way around it goes. And two. Like that. So a small one for the top. Small top. Small bottom. Large. Firstly, because if you remember that bolt is for this, that bolt goes in there because then that has got to go in there. So, you can put that on like that, then to go that way. So, as I said, they go on, they go on like that. Okay, so the bit that you just missed with the video is you just push the injectors in, you put the black little rubber grommets at the top, and the fuel rail just gets then pushed over the injectors. Now, I you don't have to do it this way, but I always do it. There's only three bolts, one there, one there, and there. I do the middle one first. pushes them injectors in so they're nice and tight now <coughs> now I don't really like leaving this open because I've just took all them little um, rags that we fitted into it so before we go any further I want to just get this done I can see why the mechanic actually missed this you know why this was leaking I, ca I can see how we missed it because with the um, inlet manifold that's going to go on in a second you could miss it
gravity. Right. So the next bit is to push that onto there. I might have to move the clip. Okay, so there's only two two more parts to go back on to be fair at the moment, which is the inlet and the bracket. So we'll go and get them now and we'll get these fitted. because all these support brackets have lacquered as well and the inlet manifold I've polished and lacquered all of this so we need to put the gasket on first because as I said I don't like leaving these parts open So that holds that. That's the pipe, isn't it? Which I can get from underneath. So I know where that one is. Right. So what we can do now is put one of these. Do you remember all these bolts? They've all been the same procedure and all cleaned.
Uh -huh. See, you'll come up with a little problem. Because I couldn't get that last bolt in. Could that be enough? Even though you might have an impact gun, I always just go over it by hand. Just to give that last little nip. There you go. Put this back in. Only the drum on this side. Right. Well, I'll show you around this now. Okay, so this is what I was just talking about where I've polished the aluminium and then I've lacquered it with a very high intensity of lacquer. So, you can, as you can see now with the top parts, is there anything that now goes in there? goes in there but I don't need to put that in yet so you but you can see the three bolts as we mentioned where the clutch goes in the starter motor the engine bracket and you can actually see what I'm trying to say when the body of the vehicle the leg is here I can understand how that got missed that oh, that got missed off a mechanic Oop, that. but there you go all in and done 
So that side is complete apart from, which I've got the bracket there, which is the alternator butt, because I'm gonna start work on the front in a minute. This side is done all right. I've missed a bolt there, which is over there. I'll just put that in a bit. Well, that's it. This side's done. I'll see you when we're at the front.